Kia ora and good evening, everyone. It's Nathan Rose from Intergen here in Auckland, New Zealand. And tonight I'm going to give you a demo of power effects in model driven apps. This is a demo feature, a preview feature that's available from Microsoft. And it's something that's going to be an absolute game changer for those of us who work with the Power Platform, both functionally and technically. Before we get into the demo, I've got a quick question for you. When you are sitting with your customers in workshops and design sessions, how much time do you spend thinking about the ultimate end user who's going to be working with the solution you're putting together, often years after you, the consultant, has left the scene? I'll give you a quick example of this. I was recently in workshops with a government regulator here in New Zealand. They approved financial licenses for financial advice providers and market, market operators. And one of, part of their business process when they're approving an application for an advice provider here in New Zealand is they conduct a Google search of the applicant just to ensure that they haven't missed anything before they they approve the license. And it got me thinking about the ultimate end user. A regulator who's going to be working in a model driven app day in and day out. And when they get to this part of the process, they're going to have to exit the model driven app, open up a new tab, go to Google, enter in the name of the applicant, peruse the search results, and then come back to the model driven app to update a field and mark that this part of the process is complete. And when you start breaking it down that way, that's a lot of steps. And I was wondering, is there a better way to do this? And what I'm really excited to show you tonight is that using PowerFX, this is actually a really simple process and a way that you can actually subtly delight your end user. So without any further ado, let's pop into the demo. So as you can see, I've got my model-driven app open here, list of contacts, and what I've done is I've created a custom button in the ribbon of the contact using PowerFX. And when I click this button, what's going to happen is it's going to pass the full name of the contact to a Google search URL, which is going to open up in a new tab. And it's going to set this Google search field complete field to yes, so that we can mark that this part of the process is done. So let's go ahead and click this button. And as you can see, it's popped open Google search results for us that we can peruse. And then when we come back to the model driven app, we can see that this Boolean field has been set to yes, all by clicking this button. So that's just a really quick example of ways that you can use power effects in your model driven apps to really spark joy and delight for your end users and find ways to automate some tricky parts of their business processes. I'll uh, I'll do a second video for you all where we go behind the scenes and I'll show you how I actually created and put some formulas behind this button. And then I'll do a third video where I talk about some of the things to be aware of as you're working with PowerFX in your model-driven apps. Thanks so much for watching.